Hi. Uh, a few months ago, I released uh, this MSX game called X Racing, and one of the features that uh, the game had, uh, let me just show you, is that it had uh, this little uh, animation in the uh, in the title screen. Uh, let me just uh, open uh, the game uh, that can be directly played in the browser thanks to the 500 website. So as I was saying, uh, X Racing had this uh, little flag animation uh, in the title screen that I was uh, particularly happy with. So uh, after I released the game, um, I put uh, online on GitHub uh, the Java uh, source code that I actually uh, used uh, to generate this animation so that uh, if anyone is interested, you can convert uh, different animations uh, to MSX. And uh, in this video, I just want to show you a, a, a new feature that I just added to this uh, animation to MSX uh, tool. So uh, a while ago, uh, Leandro Correira started this thread uh, in, in the MSX uh, Resource Center forums, where he had um, actually created this algorithm uh, based on um, something, I forget how is it called, uh, based on some uh, algorithm called Seed2000 or something like that something like that, I forget exactly the name of the thing. But basically, he had created this, uh, this uh, code that could convert images to MSX with a very, very high quality, as you can see here in some of the examples that, that he was showing. Uh, so I was interested to see if I could uh, adapt uh, this code to be able to use it in my video converter tool, uh, because some of the videos uh, that I tried to use this tool to convert to MSX uh, did not work great. So today I just wanted to show you uh, how it actually works. So I just I just did it. Uh, I just actually finished finished the code a few minutes ago, and I just pushed it to, to, to GitHub. So I just wanted to show you how it works. Uh, so I have here a few uh, GIFs that I downloaded from the internet just to test. Uh, so this is the flag animation used in X Racing that I generated myself. But there's a couple of other uh, GIFs that I got got from the internet, and I'm just gonna convert one of them uh, to MSX uh, using the uh, this tool so you can see how it works. All right, uh, so I never remember how to call it, so actually I wrote here a little example of how to do it. Uh, all right, so we just need uh, a couple of uh, jar files to run this. Um, so I think one is here in lib, which is uh, the class compiler. We also need uh, the actual MSX video converter and the main class is convert video. There you go. So if you just call uh, if you just call the, the the main class, it will actually tell you all the uh, parameter options, uh, command line parameters that you can pass to the video converter. But basically, you have to point it to a, to a GIF file. So I have here. Let me see. Yeah, I have that one here. You you give the GIF file as an input. And then let's see if you two. And then you give a, a folder where you want it uh, to be saved. So and that's it. It is a little slow, so the converter uh, takes some time. So the first thing it does, it, it loads the animation. This animation doesn't actually fit in the uh, 256 by 192 pixels resolution of the MSX. So it's going to stretch it, which is going to look ugly. Uh, if you want to convert uh, an animation, probably you you want to crop it first. Uh, and provide a GIF that is of the proper dimensions for, for MSX. You can also provide uh, command line arguments to crop it, uh, but I think it's, it's easier if you just do it with your favorite video converting tool. So what uh, the tool does is it first loads all the frames of the animation and it tries to find all the different uh, patterns or tiles of 8x8 tiles that are needed to create that animation in, in the MSX. So the, the graphics on the MSX work by tiles, 8x8 tiles. Uh, so you define uh, a set of different tiles, and then you just tell the MSX, draw tile number one here, draw tile number seven there, etc. Right? And we could have up to three banks of 256 tiles each, since this video, for example, needs uh, 623 tiles for the top part of the video, 1300 for the middle part, and 800 for the bottom part. That's too much for the MSX, so I run this uh, clustering algorithm to reduce the number of tiles to 256 by basically if there's two tiles that are very similar, I just merge them into, into one and things like that. Right? And that way I get reduced. So after doing this conversion, uh, th this little tool actually generates uh, MSX uh, assembler code uh, that you can actually just open. Uh, 
So it actually generates the assembler code in, into the output folder that you provided uh, and then uses uh, Grau's uh, Glass uh, compiler to, to actually generate a ROM file that we can just uh, directly launch. So this would be uh, the video. And this video is going to look really bad, as you can see, right? So it looks really bad. Uh, if we look, compare it with the original uh, uh, GIF file, uh, the colors don't match at all. Uh, so that's why I wanted to use uh, Leandro's algorithm to actually improve this conversion, right? So now I'm going to stop this and I'm going to run this again, but uh, I'm going to actually add as a command line parameter seed 2000, make sure I, I spell it correctly, and just call it again. And I'm going to actually rename this fold so that uh, that folder is preserved and we can then later compare. Uh, and uh, so this, this seed uh, algorithm is actually much better, but it's also uh, a bit slower. Uh, so you, you see it, it, the animation has eight frames, so it takes about five, 10 seconds to convert every frame with this algorithm. These are smaller frames. If, if your images are big, it's gonna take a much longer, uh, much longer to convert. But it's gonna take about five, 10 seconds per, per frame. There's only eight frames, so it's almost done. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, uh, the, um, my little tool actually generates assembler code. So what it does is it generates um, four files, the stylesbank1, stylesbank2, stylesbank3, name tables, uh, which are the data of the video, right? So if you actually open the assembler files, this is just data. This is all the different uh, tiles, one line per, uh, per tile of the patterns, and then the attributes of the patterns then the name tables contain each one of the frames so this is this video had eight frames so you have frame one frame two frame three etc and then there's just like a little assembler file that actually uh, renders uh, all of that uh, into a video and i think it's done yes yeah, so it's done so now we have the new uh, video and this time it uses uh, leandro's uh, seed 2000 uh, algorithm and you will see that uh, now it actually looks uh, much, much better, right? So now uh, the colors match much better the original GIF. Of course, uh, it is not perfect. Uh, like for example, the original video had all of these flickers uh, and all of these very dark blues that the algorithm uh, converts to these uh, withering patterns. But it is definitely much, much better than my original uh, way of converting the frames where uh, the video looked like this, which was really ugly. Right, so this was really, really bad. Uh, so anyway, so this is, uh, I just wanted to show you uh, this uh, new version of the tool. I hope it's useful to you in case uh, you wanna convert any video to, uh, to MSX for using in, a, in any of your games. Uh, the current version, uh, has a bunch of limitations because it's designed to generate code for MSX1, not MSX2 or 2 plus or anything like that. Uh, so it doesn't uh, convert very well videos that after being converted to MSX, they use more than 16 kilobytes of RAM, uh, especially the name tables. This is kept in RAM. So the, this video requires 6,144 6, bytes for the name tables. If your video has a lot of frames, uh, this can grow uh, very quickly and if uh, your video uses more RAM than the MSX has uh, and in particular than the MSX1 uh, with just 16 kilobytes of RAM has then uh, the generated assembler code is not going to work and you're going to have to modify it in some way but uh, if your video is small enough uh, the tool should work uh, out of the box and there's a collection of parameters that you can use uh, to skip frames and to uh, add delays view an animation to be played uh, uh, slower or faster if you don't want to use all 256 styles per band because you want to display text like I was doing in my X racing, I had a little text line at the bottom. You can limit the number of tiles that the system can use for the animation. Of course, the smaller the number of tiles, uh, the lower the quality of the video, but uh, then you will it will be more flexible so that you can actually add additional graphics around. Of course, in these videos, uh, in these examples here, I generated full uh, screen uh, videos, but you can also control and actually generate uh, a smaller 
uh, animation for the MSX, you can actually convert it to like a small, very small video if if you wanna uh, if you wanna use less memory or if you wanna just include this video as part of like part of a game or things like that. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is everything I wanted to show you. So thanks.